Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about two tips that will help you make your labels pop a little more in your product renderings. Uh, the first tip is in regards to embossing or debossing. Uh, so you don't always have to, to use uh, this, but I mean it depends on your label, it depends on the use case. Um, first let's define what we mean by embossing or debossing. So it's when you have this effect where the letters are like printed in or out. Um, if they're printed in, I think it's called a debossing. And if they're printed uh, out like this, it's called an, an embossing. Uh, so I think it just gives a, a better look uh, for your label. So the tip I want to share is uh, when you're using a mask for your uh, debossing or embossing, you want to have a blur on the edges of your uh, letters, for instance, because it will make it look better. So, hold on, I'll show you. So this is this is the one I used in my render, the blurred one. If I load the, the normal one, it's 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 very it's barely visible. Look, so I'll even pop up the strand to something like close to one. You see here, you we can see like the jagged uh, edges here. It's not very well done. Um, whereas if I if I switch to my blurred version, it's it looks better. You see, it's a little more. Uh, there is a little gradient. Um, I'll show you uh, why. I think the reason why is that because of the fact that the edges are blurred. Uh, so if I go to image editor. Yeah, so this is the normal one, right? Label box. As we see, it's very harsh, right? It's jagged. But if I go to the blurred version, there is there is this gradient that helps the bump node uh, make uh, make the normals look a little more natural. So there is no harsh uh, drop off between the black and white. I, that's why it looks better. Because uh, when you use a bump node, bump node, you actually play with the normals. You don't. Uh, physically displace the geometry so this is why it looks better and the way you get this result is uh, simply you can do it on on Photoshop for example uh, with your label you can use the I think it's called yeah the blur tool you could just draw on the edges of your of your letters and they will make it better Right, you can do this on Photoshop, and in case you don't have f Photoshop, you can also use uh, an online tool like I think this one is called Be Funky. It's an image editor. Simply, uh, you load your image, and you can go to Blur, right? And you could put something like I don't know, three percent. I guess is fine. It's just to avoid having a uh, the original version. Three uh, percent is yeah, is more than enough. It's it will already uh, make a difference. The second tip is in regards to uh, when you use, for instance, uh, a metallic foil on your label. So it could be a gold foil, a silver foil, whatever. Um, an, an aspect that's really important to sell the effect is actually the lighting, right? It's it's obvious, but it's I think it's more important. So depending on the angle, look, if I if I look at this logo from this angle, uh, it's totally dark, right? It's black. But if I go and check out the, if I check out the material, it's like a gold-ish material, right? Right, metallic one, with a very low roughness. But the view and angle doesn't sell the effect. Whereas if I move a little bit until I have the light uh, reflection, it's I think it gives a better result. So you sh you need to be very careful with that. So the way I did it in this scene is so this you see this line here this is actually a light. It's really small. It's very uh, yeah. I scaled it along the wait. Hold on. I'll go to the Z. Yeah, you see, I scaled it along the x-axis to be really thin uh, with a, a spread of ninety degrees, a very low power. And uh, I, yeah, I, uh, I rotated it a bit so it goes through the uh, backside of the logo here. 
it also goes through the letter D here and it also gives this uh, little sun ray effect that I really liked so this this simple light is actually what sells the fact that uh, this label here is made from a, a gold foil one last tip that does not have to do with labels uh, it's a more of a general tip related to learning blender so when you watch a lot of tutorials you see a lot of tips and tricks here and there if you don't take the time to um, organize what you have learned and take notes you will forget it uh, information overload is a real thing so you need to to take notes it's important whether you do it with an, a tool online or even on on paper on a notebook it's fine you can do it that way as well some people uh, find that they memorize stuff more when they write it down on paper it's totally fine but you just you, you have to do it and you also have to revise your notes uh, every now and then because otherwise you're gonna forget that's just how the brain works right if you you need a refresher from time to time um, that's it I hope you learned something have a great day